Hello, my name is Peter Chisnell and I am the Chief Strategy Officer here at Eureka. Since 1985, Eureka has invested billions of euros into European innovation projects, creating hundreds of thousands of jobs and products that have changed society and people's lives for the better. In this, our 35th year, we take a brief moment to review our achievements. Chip and pin credit cards, digital radio, developing three, four, and now 5G technologies, medical devices, drug candidates, electric transport solutions, clean energy generation, and more. Eureka's support schemes are open to all, easily accessible, and designed to offer help no matter what your innovation is. One of our biggest schemes is Eurostars, which has been delivering a high quality support to SME-led research projects since 2008. When I joined Eureka over a decade ago to help coordinate a small funding program aimed at innovative SMEs, I hoped, but really could not have imagined what Eurostars would become. I've seen it grow from 20 European countries into a truly global program active on four continents. Our initial seven year targets were surpassed within two, and rather than being a small support program on the periphery, we've seen Eurostars 1 and Eurostars 2 become a central pillar of support for innovative SMEs in Europe. Eurostars has funded over 2,000 projects and supported over 7,000 organisations to the tune of 1.5 billion euros. It's generated and sustained thousands of jobs, stimulated economic growth and created cutting edge products across a plethora of technology and market sectors. I'm proud of Eureka's achievements and grateful to everybody who's been a part of our story. But looking backwards to the past does not secure our future. Eureka and the European Commission are actively pursuing a successor. Eurostars 3 will be more open. It has a broader target group and the eligibility criteria have been streamlined. We're looking for excellent ideas for the future, not benchmarking what you've done in the past. We will ensure that our transparent evaluation systems perform to the highest levels, but we will accelerate them, meaning successful applicants will know their results and sign contracts faster than ever before. And we're working to ensure we accompany our SMEs on their innovation journey. Writing checks just isn't enough. We're working to establish links with Eureka Clusters, Global Stars, the European Innovation Council, and other parts of Horizon Europe to give our SMEs the very best chances of achieving and sustaining success. The advent of new Eureka under the Austrian chair is an exciting opportunity for reflection, new ideas, and meaningful change. But there is no old Eureka values and no new Eureka values. Our values of supporting industry and academia of helping creative and innovative ideas and enhancing international cooperation are the same. And as we look to the future, I invite you to join us in our journey towards driving creativity, innovation and discovery. Ladies and gentlemen, Mesdames, Messieurs, meine sehr geehrten Damen und Herren, uh, it's a pleasure for me to be at the 35th uh, anniversary of Eureka and uh, looking back to the su success stories uh, which were produced uh, within Eureka, if, if we know that uh, 7,500 research and development projects were done uh, and uh, that it's also done on the international level, uh, we can be proud. Uh, we all know that uh, the New Horizon Europe program, uh, which is uh, stuffed with 95 uh, billion euro so it's a 30 percent increase uh, to the horizon 2020 program uh, is an important part uh, of uh, the overall success story and uh, i was a member of european parliament and uh, responsible for uh, the budget and you know budget plays always uh, a key role uh, but also in the ITRE committee, which is in charge of uh, industrial policy, uh, it's uh, for telecommunication, research and energy. Uh, we always uh, took care on uh, the development, uh, especially uh, for SMEs uh, in the innovation area. I was also chairman of STOA and uh, STOA is a scientific technology options assessment. And uh, we look to the main areas where Europe and uh, the globe needs help, help from science and uh, 
from uh, the economic side and uh, that education at least is the key uh, for success and uh, European uh, fund of, of Forest on Europe is 10% of the overall uh, funding. Uh, we know that 90% uh, is funded from the European research area. Uh, I'm also now a member of uh, the European Economic and Social Committee and I have uh, recently developed uh, the rapport on the European research area uh, and on the action plan of intellectual property uh, I was in this working group where we tried to get a good uh, solution uh, for the future uh, development. As a first rapporteur for the Eurostars program, uh, I was very keen on looking into serious help for SMEs, for international cooperation, uh, to see how to expand into new markets. And first of all, in short decision period you know for SMEs uh, every day counts where uh, the liquidity and the equity uh, has to be used so quick uh, decisions and decisions which are favorable for the SMEs uh, are quite important and as we know that 29 percent of the applications receive funding that's a real success uh, because in my negotiations with the Commission it was always clear uh, that the Commission only likes to have big pro projects, maybe more than 10 uh, million euro, uh, but SMEs need smaller uh, uh, funding. Uh, and so we came to the conclusion that third parties could run this Horizon 22 program or the Horizon program, the research program before. Uh, and as uh, it made uh, the success story uh, with IRECA and I was very proud that IRECA won uh, this Eurostars uh, project and uh, that since this time uh, the work uh, together uh, is a, a good success because we know it, it now uh, came to a public-private investment since 2014 uh, of 1.7 uh, billion euro uh, Eurostars 1 was created in 2007 and Eurostars uh, uh, 2 from 2014 had this heavy impact uh, because we also learned that 45% uh, 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 of the people who, who used the program reached new markets, markets and 84 pro uh, uh, project partners from uh, the long-term relationships uh, were created. So. Uh, Eurostars, IRECA, uh, the European Research Area, uh, that's a real success story. Congratulations to everybody and I wish you also for the future further success and uh, also for the next 35 years we are proud for making this happen. Thank you. Dear Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished colleagues, it is great uh, opportunity for me to address you here within the celebration of 35th anniversary of Eureka. Eureka comes now at an important and challenging times both within Eureka network but also within the European research and innovation area. As a platform for increasing the productivity and competitiveness of European SMEs through new technologies, Eureka has all the attributes including its bottom-up characteristics to fulfill a natural platform to promote industrial competitiveness and thus improve people's living condition, not only in Europe, but even worldwide. If you look at the situ situation we are now facing, it is quite clear that pandemic challenges could be overcome only by research and innovation. If you want to succeed in the future, we must be aware of these challenges and accept them. In principle, governments, businesses, academia, and the skills of the workforce must work together to create an environment and culture that facilitates cross-border interdisciplinary cooperation. All the components and stakeholders must be in synergy and this is the only environment in which innovation will be beneficial. For the development of industrial activity, great emphasis has to be placed on digitization, virtual communication, while maintaining clean and circulatory technology and associated higher dependence on services. We need and appreciate the role of EU 
to facilitate and add to these efforts, in particular by improving the framework conditions, promoting research excellence in education and entrepreneurship, promoting better links between industry, especially SMEs, and research and promoting mutual learning policies. It also means to upgrade cooperation between all actors on different level in the European research area. That being said, I consider it essential to look for broader and stronger links between Eureka national funding mechanism and its relationship with the international network. There is a very clear example on the ongoing process of Eurostars 3, which is an important part of European innovation system of Horizon Europe, which will have a partially different and improved framework than the previous one, and the changes will be reflected at Eurostars national levels and building existing administrative procedures. As Eureka considers at this moment its next steps, I urge any dialogue on innovations to be made in a context with our partners from associated countries and demand should be projected in the renewal of European research and innovation landscape. Then the role and responsibilities implemented by Eureka will be even more productive and efficient. I'm sure that Eureka platform has an irreplaceable impact and will continue to use its advantages in shaping its future and creative strategy for international cooperation in global context. Thank you for your participation. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, it's a great pleasure for me to participate uh, at the virtual Eureka 35 year anniversary week event and to highlight the importance of relevance and relevance of this truly European intergovernmental initiative in the European innovation area. Eureka has played a key role during its 35-year history in enhancing uh, European competitiveness and fostering innovation. Since its launch, the program has proved its added value for the European industry serving as a flexible and efficient platform for international cooperation between uh, innovative businesses and research organizations. Its open and bottom-up nature, high-quality services of the Eureka network, its ability to mobilize national financial support are the key assets which uh, address the real needs of the European enterprises. Providing support to any innovative businesses, in particular important in these critical times when our economies and our SME sector is hit hard by the pandemic and research and innovation should be essential to ensure a sustainable and inclusive recovery while boosting the resilience and competitiveness of our economies. Eureka has always been able to adapt itself to the changing RDI landscape in Europe by introducing new innovative forms of cooperation such as clusters, umbrellas and Eurostars. Uh, one of the greatest success stories of the program which pulls national and EU budgetary sources to support the most innovative SMEs in Europe and beyond. Since 2008, the Eurostars uh, 1 and Eurostars 2 programs have supported more than 3,000 uh, SMEs in the development of their innovative products, services and processes and more than 1.2 billion uh, public resources were mobilized to facilitate their cooperation. A unique feature uh, of the program is its global dimension, which enables innovative European SMEs uh, to exploit their international collaboration potential and boost their capacity uh, to enter new and international markets by cooperating uh, with Eureka partner countries outside Europe. 
The successful cooperation between Eureka and the European Commission will be reinforced and continue within the framework uh, of the European Partnership on innovative SME to be co-financed by the New Horizon Europe program. Eurostar 3 will complement other innovation-driven programs under Horizon Europe, such as the European Innovation Council and the European Institute for Innovation and Technology. Smart combination of the support provided by these programs offer unique opportunities for businesses to accelerate their innovation processes and reach the market with their products and services. As the sole SME-driven instrument with an international uh, cooperative dimension, Eurostars 3 will be a core element of the renewed European innovation area. The primary objective of Eureka uh, is to raise the productivity and competitiveness of Europe's industries and national economies on the world market by supporting bottom-up uh, initiatives and cooperation of innovative businesses and research organizations. However, uh, based on the great flexibility of its instruments, Eureka has also become a perfect platform uh, to adequately respond to global challenges that require fast-track innovative solutions. To increase ambition towards sustainable development and the twin uh, transition in Europe, also reflected in the RDI strategies and programs in the Eureka member countries, are very well served by flexible B or multilateral calls and intercluster initiatives of programs using the variable geometry approach. Hungary has been an active and dedicated member of the Eureka uh, family since 1992. Since then, Hungarian enterprises and research organizations have participated in 171 Eureka 17 cluster and 37 Eurostars project which have resulted in innovative products and services, long-lasting intersectoral international collaboration as well as uh, in enhanced competitiveness. There is no doubt that Eureka should remain an important contributor to the realization of the European Research and Innovation uh, Aura as a leading, leading pan-European structure to implement B on the multilateral, close-to-market R&I activities by industry and academia and with a special focus uh, on the increasingly relevant European and international collaboration potential of small and medium-sized enterprises. Thank you for your attention.